Today we're talking about this wide boy, the widest of them all. One of the few cameras to use the Instax wide format and definitely one of the sweetest looking modern instant cameras on the market. Now, it looks like a nice snack on the outside. Let's see what it can do on the inside because that's what matters, what's on the inside, or at least that's like what we're told. Uh, it's the Lomo Instant Wide from Lomography and I'm gonna be saying the word wide a lot so just start sort of preparing for that. Let's, let's do it. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to In An Instant, my name is Ben and today's instant review is the Lomo Instant Wide. Now if you're unfamiliar with this format, Instax wide film is actually 20 years old, but Fuji had only released two cameras since the year 2000 that could even handle this film. And there were no other companies producing wide format cameras until Omography. Now let's take a look at the difference between the Instax Mini, their most popular film stock, and the Instax wide. Funny enough, the Instax wide print is actually the same dimensions as a Polaroid, if you turn it on its side. So if you prefer Fuji's color science to Polaroid, liked Polaroid Spectra film, or just an Instax freak, then you may want to look into this camera as an option. This is a beautiful, thick with two C's product of expert design that has more features than the Fuji cameras, but definitely with a certain character that may not be for everyone. Um, so we're gonna get into that for sure. So let's just start with that. The quality of the Lomo Wide is limited by its plastic lens. The only glass lens in Stax Wide camera is the Mint Instant Con RF70, which came out in mid 2019, but at a price of $900, that's really only for the diehards. Like we respect the diehards, we certainly acknowledge the diehards, but we're not dropping 900 bucks. We're just not. We're like for sure not. Well, we might eventually, but so with the Lomo, you are going to deal with the softness of the lens, softer than most lenses on instant cameras. But that softness also lends a dreamlike quality to the images, and this camera certainly allows for more artistic expression than Fuji. Though, no disrespect to Fuji, you are a real one, an OG, and we love you. The 35 millimeter equivalent F8 lens has three zones of focus. I found it's much easier to nail focus with this than the Lomo Instant Square, which is right here, thanks to the wider lens. And this camera has a ridiculously close focusing distance with the included adapter, which can get as close as 10 centimeters. That's, that's so close. That's like way too close. Back off. <laughs> it's, it's great for portraits of ants and other ant-sized things. Shout out to ants, keep doing your thing. Uh, without the adapter, the close focus is two feet, which is awesome for portraits at this field of view, actually. There's a wide adapter, which is great for selfies and landscapes and all the modular stuff that they included with this camera is absolutely friggin' nutso futso, cuckoo bananas. When you flip it around, you see all the other fun stuff going on here geared toward artistry. You've got the flash override option up here. You've got the three-step exposure compensation. But a huge differentiator here is the multiple exposure mode, which is definitely big for business if that sort of thing soaks your seersuckers or even floods your jeans. With the wider format, there is more you can do with multiple exposure mode. You know, you just have more real estate, so there's more you can do. We really love that. We support that fully. And you've also got the auto mode here. Boom, that's the mode you're gonna use most often. It's automatic exposure. But you've also got bulb mode. That is pretty cool and allows you to keep the shutter open for longer exposures. After that, you've got the one over 30 locked shutter speed mode and that's intended to be used with the PC socket over here. And that allows you to use external strobes a feature that would have cost them exactly zero dollars not to include, probably would have saved them money, uh, but I absolutely love them for doing that anyway. The only thing I wish they'd built into this camera body is like a 10 second timer, but wait, I'm not finished. This camera is so sneaky and cheeky and even somewhat freaky that it even has a remote shutter built into its lens cap. I mean, this is some James Bond friggin' 007 shit, like with a Lomo Instant Wide over here. Also on the front of the camera, you've got a selfie mirror for, you know, your selfies. Although I suggest you align 
that with the lens. On the topic of aligning shots, this is not the easiest camera to use. As you can see, the viewfinder is way off to the side of the lens. The wide format is more forgiving of an accurate framing, but this setup does, really doesn't make it easy. The viewfinder actually pops out of the camera and can be replaced with a wider angled viewfinder if you're using the wide angle lens attachment. The camera takes AA batteries, shout out to AA's, has a tripod socket, obviously, and really just looks delicious. Like I definitely would eat this. Pros and cons. Let's do it. Pros, feature rich. This camera can do a whole hell of a lot. Maybe even more than you'd ever use it for. Uh, design, it looks amazing and strangers do want to touch it. It uses Instax wide. I know that might be a ridiculous pro, but considering only three cameras released in the last decade can do that, I'm thankful this one exists. Cons, the offset viewfinder makes framing very difficult. The lens is one of the softest on the market and price. If you're really good at doing eBay, you can score one for $100, but if you aren't super lucky, it's closer to 150. Not insane for a modern camera by any means, but if, you know, it's a premium price if you're just doing this for funsies. All right, I, that's it for the Lomo Instant Wide. Thank you for watching in an instant. Go ahead and put a bullet in that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more reviews, breakdowns, and all things instant. Bye, see ya. Good day, sir. Are you still here?